In recent months, an event has been brewing in the tech and space sectors that may become the largest transformation since the creation of SpaceX. According to several sources in Boca Chica and in Tesla's engineering circles, Elon Musk is preparing a project capable of reshaping humanity's understanding of cities, architecture, and space development. The plan involves building the world's first city, whose architecture is based on real, flight-proven rockets, expended Falcon 9 stages, and Starship hulls. According to multiple sources in Boca Chica, the project, once discussed as a concept for the distant future, has already moved into a phase of careful but systematic preparatory actions. Several SpaceX divisions have received closed internal instructions related to modeling infrastructure nodes, life support systems, and energy schemes, as well as assessing the condition of dozens of hulls that have returned from active missions and are now stored at secured sites around Starbase. Bloomberg Space and The Wall Street Journal, citing sources familiar with consultations between SpaceX and Texas authorities, report that Musk views the construction of Star City as a strategic project combining space engineering, autonomous energy systems, a demonstration of reusability, and the creation of the first model of a future Martian settlement. Most importantly, Musk intends to implement all of this on Earth to prove that a city based on full autonomy, closed-loop systems and independence from traditional infrastructure can function stably and economically. According to several SpaceX employees, Starship hulls and Falcon 9 stages are viewed not as scrap or decommissioned parts, but as ideal construction modules. Ultra-strong steel designed for extreme loads, perfectly cylindrical shapes allowing them to be connected into sealed sections, high resistance to corrosion, and the ability to install full insulation, communications, and engineering systems inside. Internal documents described by Ars Technica contain references to an architectural concept built on vertical towers made from starship hulls, horizontal corridors from Falcon 9 stages, and multi-level energy platforms integrated into a single autonomous block. All of this is meant to form the framework of a future city that engineers call the first functioning proof that reusability can expand beyond astronautics but the architectural aspect is only half the picture. What worries analysts far more is that, according to several sources, Musk views Star City not merely as an engineering experiment, but as an economic model that could radically change competitive dynamics between states. According to Reuters sources familiar with the negotiations, several insiders claim that Musk is discussing with Texas authorities the possibility of creating a special tax zone in which two key taxes, property tax and sales tax, would be eliminated. This would not only be an unprecedented move for a private project, but also a powerful tool for attracting companies, startups, research centers, and high-skilled specialists who are already leaving California en masse, tired of its tax burden. One consultant working with the Texas administration told The Information that Musk proposed creating an experimental zero-tax corridor around Star City, a territory where any company operating in technology, robotics, neural networks, energy or space infrastructure could function without paying property taxes and with a zero sales tax rate. Goldman Sachs experts note that such a step could completely reshape the economic map of the southern states turning Star City into a new technological magnet that would compete not with Austin or San Jose, but with entire economic systems. The situation is further intensified by the fact that SpaceX has already purchased significant land around Starbase. According to the Texas Tribune, hundreds of hectares, new construction platforms, temporary hangars, energy nodes, and mobile engineering systems have begun to appear on these sites. Several SpaceX employees have hinted in closed discussions that the company is creating the first testing zone where systems of natural ventilation, thermal insulation, and the integration of solar panels into rocket hulls will be evaluated. MIT analysts note that such tests are essential before building Martian settlements, since on Mars any mistake would cost lives. An equally important part of the project is the creation of a fully autonomous energy system. According to CNBC, SpaceX together with Tesla Energy is working on integrating solar glass, power wall, and megapack into a unified energy circuit, allowing the city to function independently of external grids. This means Star City could become the first territory in the US where energy, 
heating, water, transportation, and communications are fully autonomous and do not require resources from state or municipal services. Experts believe that such a solution creates a dangerous precedent, a territory where a private company controls literally everything from power grids to residential modules. Meanwhile, SpaceX engineers insist that autonomy is not the goal but a tool. Musk wants to use Star City as a full prototype of a Martian city where water purification systems, closed biological cycles, autonomous logistics, and automated maintenance services integrated into a single AI framework will be tested. Several Tesla employees working temporarily at SpaceX told Nikki Asia that their team is developing new types of glass panels resistant to ultraviolet radiation and temperature fluctuations, a solution intended for later testing in Martian conditions. Analysts at Bank of America and Morgan Stanley have already called Star City a private infrastructure revolution. They note that never before in the U.S. has there been a territory where urban autonomy, elimination of key taxes, reusable space architecture, and the integration of next-generation energy systems coexist simultaneously. According to experts, if the project is realized even by one-third, it will signal to other major corporations, Google, Amazon, Apple, that the future of cities may lie not in the hands of governments, but in private technology structures. And although the White House expresses concern that Musk is creating an ecosystem that is too independent, analysts note that pressure from federal authorities may only accelerate the project's development. Musk has long called excessive regulation the main threat to innovation, and creating his own autonomous territory may become his response to efforts to limit SpaceX's expansion. Despite the political backdrop and the skepticism of some experts, one thing is clear. The Star City project has already moved beyond rumors. It has become a topic of closed discussions in financial institutions, government structures, and investment funds. According to people familiar with the situation at the top management level, Musk sees Star City not as an experiment, but as the first step in forming humanity's future infrastructure. A city built from rockets, autonomous, energy independent, freed from several key taxes, and created according to the principles of reusable space architecture, may become the zero point from which the transition from the industrial era to the era of interplanetary urbanism begins. And if the project is indeed launched, then in the coming years, the world will see not just a new city, but the first example of how a private company can create an autonomous settlement ready to operate according to the principles of a future Martian civilization. Some consider it a reckless gamble. Others see it as an inevitable step. But everyone agrees on one thing. If Musk builds Star City, humanity's understanding of how cities can be created, how technologies can be used, and how future generations can organize life will change forever.